Hello and welcome once again to Ride Gaming Tech for your daily dose of binary news and myself and Marta. Today is the 5th of September and I have some news for you today regarding the Aliens Colonial Marines court case as Sega and Gearbox of course have been the target of a class action lawsuit about the misleading nature of the Aliens Colonial Marines um, demo and gameplay footage and all that good stuff. You all know the backstory. Now, if you have watched my video a little while ago, you'll know that Gearbox said that they think they should be dropped from the suit because they didn't have anything to do with marketing the game and basically said that Sega was responsible for the marketing and that the blame should be laid at their door for any misleading that was done. Now, Sega have naturally responded to this saying that Gearbox wasn't so innocent in the promotion after all. Now, some internal emails have leaked in the latest motion where Sega is actually claiming that Gearbox deceived them and even said that the co-founder Randy Pitchford did, quote, whatever the fuck he likes. And the motion states, quote, the parties had to mutually agree the precise particulars of marketing assets delivered by Gearbox. Gearbox's participation, Randy Pitchford's in particular, was a key element in the ACM marketing strategy from the beginning. Then the motion goes on to claim that the E3 press demo, the infamous demo that so misled everyone, was made by Gearbox, who then assured Sega that this was the bar the game should be evaluated by. And then the motion went on to say this actually came from the Sega of America's Matt Powers, and this was an internal email. Quote, during one of my conversations with Gearbox today, I verified that the E3 demo is indeed the bar that we should use to determine the, what the entire game will be. That is Gearbox's plan and what they believe in. I just wanted to double check with them and since I did I figured I would pass that along to you. And the filing also noted that Gearbox frequently violated their PR plans for the game and quote talked a lot about beyond what was in there. And Matt Iyer of Sega's PR team said in another email to his colleagues Quote, I spoke face to face to Gearbox's Steve Gibson about their persistent panel leaking. Effectively, it's Randy Pitchford doing whatever the fuck he likes. Apparently, he did it twice on Borderlands 2. Also, again, against all plans, and despite the fact that they asked him not to, I think our best result here is we have no more panel sessions. Now, there will be a couple of links below in the description in this video um, of two of the latest motion files that if you want to give them a proper read-through, you can do. So there you have it. Rather interesting to say the least. I personally, um, when Borderlands, sorry not Borderlands, when Gearbox said, yeah we didn't have anything to do with the marketing, I don't know. I still felt like even if they didn't have anything to do with the marketing, even if that's true, they still have their share of the responsibility for the colossal clusterfuck that was Aliens Colonial Marines and they were of course trying to absolve themselves of that responsibility and get themselves removed from the court case basically saying we had nothing to do with it when of course while they were technically contracted by Sega they still made the game. And according to these motions, they did have a hand in basically misleading the consumer. Of course, this is all a case of he said, she said. So I'm going to reserve judgment until this mess of a court case actually reaches its conclusion. For the moment, both of them are pointing fingers at each other. But I do think that Gearbox shouldn't be removed. That They do have some responsibility, even if they didn't have anything to do with the marketing. I still think they have their part to play and maybe you'll agree with me, maybe you won't. So I still think this is very interesting and the fact that these internal emails that were obviously sent during the development is quite interesting to say the least. I'd love to hear some thoughts from you guys on this most recent development. And as someone pointed out on the comments of the original article, the source article, um, Randy Pitchford himself was giving all the hype about how he's a huge Aliens fan and how the game was looking and playing awesome and how it was, you know, being really true to the films and all this. So they definitely had a, a hand in the hype. So to be honest, I'm not buying it Gearbox. I think you had something to do with the marketing. And even if you didn't, you still have your share of the blame. So just deal with it basically you made your bed and I'll lie in it I suppose anyway that is me done for this video thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time